Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the IT security defense against the digital dark arts, which is offered by Google on Coursera. So you can do is uh, do this fully free, and there is six weeks. So we are going through the basically week number one. So here's the firstly we are going to understand the security threats. They are going to describe is very very easily. They use very simple terms, and I think if you go through this video, this will help you a lot. And you can also check out your progress by practicing the quizzes. But I think I will help you for some quizzes, and among them, the important, the first important quiz is malicious software. So I think I I don't get the hundred percent score here in that, but I think I will help you with those that i get the first thing is cia triad i think you already go gone through it the confidentiality and so what does the confidentiality means ensuring the data is not accessible by unwanted parties that's the answer the cia triads where integrity is the second thing that means accurate and was not tampered with and the third one availability that means ensuring the data availability is not accessible by unwanted parties that will be your answer okay not available to anyone from anywhere that's not the correct answer that's a mistake from myself that will be available to people and can access it that will be the answer okay so that's your correct answer you shouldn't forget this and the fourth one is what's the relationship between a vulnerability and then exploit Okay, so an exploit takes advantage of a vulnerability to run arbitrary code or gain access. And the fifth one is which statement is true, both for worm and a virus. They both are self-replicating and self-propagating. That's an easy question. And types of malware, adware, worms, viruses are the key generators. Okay, so these all are the answers. What are the characteristics of a rootkit? Okay, it is very difficult to detect. You cannot detect it, whether it is embedded in the coding and the second one is it provides elevated credential so that's all you need to answer from this so we are going for our main quiz that actually and that will actually ensure your grade uh, network attacks i think you should also go through this for something i will show you but that's an easy question the first one what are the dangers of a man in the middle attack? Check all that applies. So the first one, an attacker can FS drop or unencrypt traffic. That will be a correct answer. Yes. And the second option will be also correct. An attacker can block or redirect the traffic. And the th fourth one actually, an attacker can also modify traffic in the transit. Okay, so the second question, why DNS catch poisoning attack is so dangerous? because it allows an attacker to redirect targets to a malicious web servers and it also affects any clients querying the poisoned dns server okay so the third one which of the following of a ddos attack okay so ddos actually an attacker comes from lots of different hosts that's the thing because there's a multiple devices so the attack also happened from multiple they also use botnets here and which of the following result of a denial of service attack DOS? Check all that apply. Service is unreachable. Yeah, they can't reach the service. They usually done by flooding the victim with the attack traffic, degrading network and system performance, and rendering services unreachable. Okay, so they also create some buffer so that the slow network performance can also be shown. So that was the thing. One and three will be your correct answer. So we are going to our next quiz, which is also important for you guys. And I think that's other attacks. So what are the other attacks can be? And that's a that's a little bit harder question. So the first question will be, what? How can you protect against a client side injection attacks? Check all that apply. Okay. So what are the client side injection attacks? The first one is data sanitization. If you sanitize your data, you can check you can validate or you can strong your website or server against the client-side injection attacks and 
in use input validation you need to validate your input okay and not utilizing a strong password is uh, good but not related to this injection attack here so a brute force attack is more efficient than a dictionary attack that's false because a brute work at uh, a brute force attack is the upgraded version of a dictionary attack so which is more more powerful you need to know that which of the following scenarios are social engineering attacks check all that apply okay the first one an attacker performs a middleman in the middle attack it's not the option that will be suitable here so the second option some uses a fake id to gain access to the restricted area yes that's the thing because that's how they are trying by spreading malicious or spam email through social engineering and you should also remember that the so what is social engineering social engineering is not about your technology it's all about you okay it's the user not the technologies okay so and the thing that you receive an email with an attachment okay so that's very dangerous attachment from an unauthorized email should not be opened that's very important thing okay so we are going to our final quiz which is the most important here and that will also ensure your grade and i uh, luckily get 100 percent in that so i think i can help you in that so the first question will be a network based attack where only attacking machine overwhelms a target with traffic is a dos attack or denial of service attack malware injection and brute force password is not switchable for this op for this question okay so botnets are designed to uh, design to steal what from the victims username and password you may think of this but yes and money no that's not the thing uh, there's not an option computing resources yes credit card information yes so you can see that username password is also correct answer credit card information is also correct answer but the main option will be computing resources because username passwords and credit card information all of these are included in this so you need to select the perfect option for your question okay so the third one an attack that would allow someone to intercept your data as it is being sent or received is an man in the middle attack which we already went through our first quiz okay the best defense against a password attack is using any strong password not encryption not firewall not any anti-malware software okay so the fifth which of this is an example of the integrity principle that can ensure your data is accurate and untempered with okay so we can use an encapsulating security payload which will help us in that purpose and we can also use MAC or message authentication codes which we also know as two-factor authentication okay so the other two options are not switchable here they are keeping symmetric security and implementing flood cards okay so the next question what could potentially decrease the availability of security and also test the preparedness of data loss that's the main quality or characteristics of a ransomware uh, but the other options if we look at keylogger adware and spyware they are also mailer but they are not with that purpose or not characteristics are not matching in that case the seventh question trojan horse what are the main characteristics of trojan malware a trojan is the same thing as a rootkit not actually a trojan may get installed without user's consent no that's not possible a trojan doesn't have that power or ability a trojan is basically a backdoor malware no it's not basically a backdoor malware it's just came with another adware or malware not the backdoor a trojan infection needs to be installed by the other that's the thing you need it's need your consent because it uh, but it doesn't show you its real identity that's the thing okay so what is called when a hacker is able to get into a system through a secret secret entryway in order to maintain a remote access to the computer that's the thing we call backdoor yes that's a backdoor uh, backdoor malware that we already uh, learned a few moments ago okay so the another thing is a hacker stood outside a building and spun up a wireless network without anyone's knowledge at that point the hacker was able to gain unauthorized access to a secure corporate network okay so that's a rog ip or access point attack not dns because dns will not do the thing not seen fraud or not denial of service attack okay so it will be only a rog ap attack 
the number 10th question is which of these is where a victim connects to a network that the victim thinks is legitimate but it's really an identical network controlled by a hacker to monitor traffic yeah that's the evil twin in the premises of an evil twin for the victim to connect a network that is identical to the legit one but which is controlled by the hacker that's the thing number 11 how can an injection attacks be prevented by data sanitization and input validation that we already talked about in our first quiz number 12 which of these is a way to help or prevent brute force attack that is the strongest than the dictionary attacks okay so for this we need to apply captchas and strong passwords this will help us in that purposes okay so uh, password crackers and using a uh, pre-complied a uh, list of common is not helpful or not perfect okay so the last question an end user received an email stating his bank account was compromised and that he needs to click a link to reset his password you know then the user was invited to visit the site he recognized it's a legitimate and entered to his entered his credentials which were captured by a hacker and you know the answer is very simple it's a phishing attack which is the most common attack uh not baiting tailgating or sql injection so there's the thing it will help you to get 100 percent score in the final quiz of week one of digital security of it and against the dark arts thank you and please keep updated for getting the latest update of week two three four and so on thank you